Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a game in Unity and welcome to episode 47. In this tutorial we are going to take a look at fog, both particles and through lighting. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with this series and everything else I have on this channel. And with that in mind, let's get foggy. Now, the idea of fog generally in games can be used in many different ways and a lot of the time in old games it was used to kind of mask the background and things that you weren't supposed to see in a quite a distance and we're going to take a look at a couple of different ways that you can actually generate a fog image. Firstly let's try the particle system. So game object, effects and particle system. Now we've dealt with these before but there's not a whole lot that we could actually do to kind of give an impression of fog better than actual lighting but if you want little pockets of fog these are going to be fantastic and the best way I've ever found of doing it is having a start speed of relatively low so 0 0.1 maybe and start color I'm going to have as a bit gray but I'm also going to have low alpha and you can see already that it does like a weird pocket of fog and best thing to do at this point as well is to change the emission to be a little bit higher, so maybe 100. But at the same time, the shape needs to be something like a sphere. You could also change the radius quite high. So you can see how much of an impact this is now having. And probably change the start size as well to be something a little bit bigger. So we could try 5. Now at the moment it's looking a little bit patchy, like kind of glitchy we could say. So to get around that, and like I say we've dealt with this before, we need to go to size over lifetime. So if we tick it, change the size over lifetime, start at nothing, add a key, so right click, add key, drag up, and then by the end of its lifetime it's dissipated. So it looks a lot more natural now, like some weird eerie pockets of fog just wandering around. And there are other things you can do as well. We could always randomize the uh, direction by changing this to 1. It would give a much more random feel to the fog. And again, we could always change the alpha to be a little bit higher, so as it's a kind of thicker. But again, it's looking a little bit kind of fading in -y. So we could change the, let's change the duration to maybe 50, as well as the start lifetime. So it kind of lingers a lot more. And because of that, we may need to change the alpha again. Quite low. There we go. And if we double click, zoom out, we can see just how much of an area that fog is now covering. Or in this case, it's kind of mist, isn't it? So I'm going to bring the mist out here. Maybe in front of this cave. And I think I'm going to increase the start size as well to probably about 15. And now let's take a look at this in game. So I'm going to take my first person controller, take it out of this dungeon and bring it over here into the village. Press play. And let's take a look at how this fog looks or mist. Once it loads, come on Unity, I know you can do it. Where am I? So you can see the fog I particles need to find here. A way out of this wood. It's kind of eerie now. There we go. You can see how the fog is reacting in little pockets as we get closer, and the effect it can have depending on the lighting as well. So that's one way of creating a creepy looking uh, fog patch. Another way of dealing with fog is going to window going to lighting and settings and down here at the bottom we have other settings fog now I'm going to bring the scene down here just a little bit so we can kind of see into the distance and then I'm going to tick fog it may freeze for just a moment just while it kind of calculates but we should be able to see already this area in the distance has now become quite foggy and essentially there's by default it's pretty good as it is you don't need to worry too much it will basically mist out everything that's within the distance and we can change the density so you can basically change it to one and it looks utterly ridiculous or we can change it to nothing and have no fog even though it's ticked 
or we can find a, a nice in-between measure. So 0 0.0, not 5, unless you want it really creepy. So let's try 2. And let's press play. And we can see... The Where fog am I? in the distance is kind of need to find fogging over of wood. trees. So a combination of the two may prove to be somewhat decent. But if we change the mode to linear, you're not going to see too much of uh, a difference in the sense of it's, it's foggy in the distance. It kind of more gives you a starting point and an end point of that fog in the distance. So a start point, if you have it quite high, you see you won't have anything. However, what it's basically telling us is that the fog is non-existent here because the two numbers are the same. If we were to have it as one and one, you would have the same effect as the fog is rapidly close to you. So we can also have start at, let's say, uh, 50 and end at, let's say, 150. And again, you can see that uh, fog kind of, you know, in the distance, it's I guess it's up to you how you want to manipulate this fog, but having it linear gives you a bit of a change, a bit more control over what it's doing. And exponential, uh, yet again, it's it's just a different way of presenting how the fog appears in your game. It's the density. So I'm going to have it back as linear. And another way we can look at it is, I think we you know, actually imported it quite a while ago in standard assets. So if we go to search in our bar, right here and type in global fog we can actually use this global fog script on our first person controller so if we go uh, first person controller and then first person character we can add the global fog script to our first person character the reason we add it to this is because this is the object that contains the camera which will be displaying the fog and down here as we can see we have all the settings you won't see it in the scene view because it only appears when the camera is rendering. So if we press play, the default settings for it, you can see where am I? Just how foggy and murky I need to find a way the world out of has actually wood. become because of our fog script. But at this point, you can also see how you can mask and hide the distance and how you don't want people to see beyond a certain point in the game. Our creepy fog patch over here is. Uh, very strange and as we come into it see the fog dissipates but as I say with the fog script that we have going on here we can see just how much it kind of affects the distance so let's play around with some of the settings whilst we're in game so we can see what kind of fog effect we want to have so let's go over here and let's change the height to let's say 10 and you can see just how close it now becomes so if you're in a very you know creepy kind of area depending on what assets you're using within your scene this is how the fog can be affected so let's change distance fog let's turn it off and you can see it's only giving you low-lying fog the reason it's appearing here is because we're literally setting the height as 10 so we're setting it quite high if we set it to one again, or maybe three, <laughs> maybe five, we can see in the distance it's kind of a, a low fog area. So we can have fog appearing down here. So maybe if we'd get it to seven, maybe eight. You can see we're on top of this hill now, but the fog is actually below us. So again, that's giving you another effect. And as I say, you can combine all three of these methods to create whatever fog illusion you would want. You could always turn off the height fog if you wanted to. Use radial distance isn't going to do much. Distance fog, all method, uh, all options ticked and we can see just how much of an impact this is having on our game. Height density, again, you can see changing it is going to give you a ridiculous amount of fog which you don't want. So if we go to window, go to lighting, go to settings, down to fog again we can change the color of the fog if you so wish a black fog will give you that effect you know if you want to go for some kind of maybe deadly premonition kind of feeling game you go for weird purple fog 
You know, it's again, it's all about your game and how you want to display your game, how you want to go for this. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with my fog ticked. I'm going to have maybe greyish. I like grey fog. And yeah, that fog is all about how you want it to appear in your game. It's not necessarily something you should do or, you know, if you want to, it's completely fine. But one thing I recommend is if you're doing something like a horror game, the pockets of fog drifting might always be a better idea. So the idea of that is, for example, if we change on the sphere and change it to, let's say, cone, and you can see it's emanating at this point upwards, we can always change the rotation and have, let's have that as minus 180. And you'll be able to see the fog creating some kind of weird illusion. But if you change the start speed and have it higher, let's say two, three maybe, and let's press play. Because we've changed the rotation of the particle system, where am I? You can see the fog I now need to find a way out of this is wood. heading in one direction. And I don't mean the boy band. So again, it's all about how you want to create your fog. This fog could drift uh, quite a way across the map if you wanted it to. And you can see it's drifting all this way here. You know, it's kind of weird actually, but I like it. So guys, that is fog. And what I would recommend at this point is if you do want fog in your game, use a combination of all three. It's not going to be too strenuous. The only strenuous thing you may find is if you go nuts with this particle system. But again, the particle system is generally for like little pockets of fog. If we change the alpha maybe to four, let's have rate over time, let's have 1000 and just try this out. It, I say it's pockets of fog, which the uh, particle system is best for. Where am I? I need to find For general a way distance out of fog. Wood. Yeah, I would use the one in uh, your lighting. But yeah, there's one way of creating fog. So, guys, next episode, what we're going to take a look at is uh, tags and triggers, I think, because I don't think we've really dealt with tags too much, but I think we need to take a little look at tags and how they work and how they can impact your game relative to what's going on around you. Uh, we may also bring in a final NPC just to kind of, you know, have something going on here. And we'll see what we go with from there. So guys, until that next episode, thank you very much for watching.